Hey guys, it's Kim here and welcome back to Top 5 Games of 2015. I am joined by my horror partner in crime, Hannah. Hello. You are right. Hello. Hi, yes, I'm fine. Go on. Um, should we just bash straight into this then? Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for inviting me, by the way. It's nice to be on it for the first year running. <laughs> It was like <laughs> I knew you were gonna. Year. I knew you were gonna bring that up. Oh, it's fine. I think fine. it's because the last year, like every time I ask you, you just give me that look of like, <laughs> do you talk know to how me. many games I'm playing right now? <laughs> Have you seen my room? <laughs> exactly. So I just kind of like back away slowly, but this year I kind of harassed you into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fair enough. Um, Right, so let's take it away then, because I know how much time you don't have. So, what is your number five game of uh, 2015? I would say my number five game of the year would be The Room 3, which has just come out. The Room 3? The Room 3. I do like, um, so I played, I think it was The Room 2 on the channel. I played The Room 1, uh, just like mm -hmm. off camera for fun. And uh, I'm going to do The Room 3 on the channel, actually. Uh, but I have recorded some of it already and it's true to form and I'm really, really enjoying it. So I think it should be there in number five because it's a nice puzzle game. It's a bit different because it's a mobile game as well. Yeah. And I thought it was just, it's a change because the rest of this list is kind of stuff I've done on the channel or like AAA titles or big deals. So I thought it'd be a nice, yeah. a nice change. Yeah, you have a real guilty pleasure for the room as well, don't you? I do, but I'd like, I like those kind of things. Also, it's quite Cthulhu-y. So it's Cthulhu-y, puzzly, tentacles will come out mm. and mess you up sort of stuff. So <laughs> it ticks, it ticks quite a few boxes for me. No, I get, I, I get that, I get that. I do like, I, I do like a bit of the room as well. So it, yeah. I'll definitely be picking that up. Okay, so, well, that's all there is to say about The Room 3. Yeah. <laughs> so should we scoot along to your number four game of the year? Uh, ooh, okay. I am going to say, because I've got them, I've got them, the order is a bit sort of all over the place, so it's as yeah. I feel it today. Um, I'm going to say that number four is Hearthstone. Okay. Because I've played it, whilst it's not really, like, a big deal that's come out, you know, et cetera, et cetera, um, I'm enjoying the new expansion that's come out. And mm -hmm. I play it enough that I think it probably should be up there. I play a lot of it on my phone. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I think even though I don't do a lot of it on the channel anymore, it's still a game that's quite dear to my heart. Yeah. And my little casual game as well. So I think, yeah, Hearthstone deserves to be up there at number four. So it's kind of like your little relaxy game, like, yeah, you know, just to play yeah, when you're the heading or, somewhere um, or you just wait for a train. Know, front the TV. That's that's yeah. a perfect time to get out the old get out the old phone and kick someone's ass. <laughs> uh, well, what is it about it that keeps you going back to it? Well, I really like um, I really like Magic: The Gathering when it first came out, like the mm. the, the PC game, obviously, um, which I think is now a phone game as well. Um, but I didn't like the fact you couldn't make your own decks. You could only make it within um, the limits of what the game would give you yeah. per deck. Then Hearthstone came out. I didn't really like the World of Warcraft trading card game because it seemed a bit weird to me after all that, that you have a hero and you attack the yeah. hero after playing Magic for so long. But Hearthstone came out. It was a very accessible and easy way to learn. It's very colourful. Um, I love the cards that they're adding. They're adding more and more weird stuff so you can play the game and you'll see, like, suddenly someone comes up with a deck and you're like, oh, my God, what? Like, it's just stomped me. What the hell is that? <laughs> and you go and look it up. Um, so I think it's just... It's just really fun, you know, like, you know, pick it up and play without yeah. the investment. Like, obviously, you could put time and investment in, but I've had the game for how long? So I'm kind of all right on most of the cards. I'm a little bit paid to win. So here's a question for you. Yeah, how much real-life monies have you spent on uh, it? Oh, God. Well, because I was in the beta, wasn't I? So they were like, any money you put yeah. in, you'll get back. Yeah. And around that time, I think we were in the hundreds... Yeah, it wasn't you as hit much triple as, digits, didn't you? It wasn't as much as Duncan. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, <laughs> that's my only defence. It wasn't as much as Duncan. Um, I'm at a point now where I don't, I don't buy. I don't even buy Arena because I've done all the quests daily. So I'm like, yeah. I can pay for my entrance fee. Uh, occasionally I'll buy myself some <laughs> card packs with gold and it's like, yeah. But um, yeah. I've not... <laughs> Unless unless a new expansion comes out with a new pack of cards and then I might buy the biggest selection and then I'll leave it. So I think maybe yeah. I've spent... How many expansions do we have this year? Two or three? I think so, something I've like that. I probably bought like 35 quid per expansion plus <gasps> the price of the expansion. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Are you nearing pressing. like quadruple digits now? No, I can't be. I can't be. I mean, maybe like 200, 300 <laughs> overall. Um, but okay. I'd like to think that I, I did some videos and maybe that's upset like offset the cost yeah that's, that's, that's an offset it's a business expense Bus- business it expense. is a business expense <laughs> oh god oh my gosh well let's move swiftly away from that before you start crying um, <laughs> what is your number three game oh the problem is we've got three games that are quite like contested here um yeah two of them i finished one i think i, I know what your number one is gonna be right oh, okay okay I, I think i've got a good idea of what number one's gonna be I'm, so oh. I'm going to say mm. number three is going to be Rise of the Tomb Raider. Oh, my God. I thought that you was going to be your number, number one. one. What? Just because it's it's Lara. Yeah, immediately Lara gets number one. Um, it's a difficult one. Because, well, you love a bit of Lara. I do love a bit of Lara Croft, yes. Um, and it is ama- it's a very good game. It's amazing. It's um, definitely better than the last one, which is saying a lot because the last one was very good. Um, the scenery is beautiful. Mm. It looks amazing on an Xbox One, which means when it comes to PC, it's going to be stunning. Sadly, Mm. that's not yet. Um, But it feels almost like I'm shouting into the wind a little bit with it because no one is seeing it. No one is playing it. Uh, No one, you know, no one owns a bloody Xbox One and it's just been swallowed by another uh, few games, one of which might be in the top five. Yeah. And so it's just not had that publicity, which is really sad because I really enjoyed it. I like Rihanna Pratchett's writing in it. I think Camilla Luddington's done a great job. Um, But I wouldn't say it's as good as the other two on my list, just because they're slightly different. Again, I feel like if I put Mm. Lara at number one, then it's a bit of a, like, not a cop-out, but she shouldn't automatically qualify. I'm excited to see, because there's supposed to be a trilogy. They accidentally leaked that there was a trilogy. Oh, right, okay. Um, So I'm excited to see where it goes. Um, And as I said, I really did enjoy it. I played it in like three or four sittings, the whole damn thing. Um, But now I've finished it, I'm not thinking about it as much as the other two, number one and number two on the list, which is partly why it's... Yeah. Like literally, I've just had to make, before I chose third, I was like, which one of you three have I thought about less in the last few? Right, okay, it's you, Lara, sorry. So yeah, number three. Is it just as... um... Is it just as like, what's the word? Like uh, hard as the first, as the first recent one. In in the kind of sense that Lara was always right, like really put through the mill. Like I, a do you know what? Playing less, the, the I think. Tomb Raider before that, right? Okay, yeah. Yeah. I just felt sorry for Lara because it was yeah. like it was one thing after another, and I was like, Jesus Christ, can you just catch a break? She's here? got a lot more spirit in this one, and seems to be a lot more mm. equipped for things. Uh, there's a few jokes like mm-hmm. literally she has a never-ending pack of glow sticks like most of the time and there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of stuff where you're like yeah you wouldn't survive in this cold with whatever the hell you're wearing um yeah but there's a lot less very early on very fast you've been impaled in the side etc etc there's still a few falls sure. where you're like ow that that would not you would not survive that um yeah and a few bits like ice cold water but it's a bit more spread out and she also deals mm-hmm. with them better anyway, so there's a lot less crying. Uh, there's still a bit of crying, but the, cry- <laughs> the crying tends to make sense <laughs> a bit more versus just going, I don't like yeah. this place, why? Um, so, yeah, like that's in storyline-wise and all of that stuff, it really, really works, and it makes a lot more sense on that perspective. There's no, um, or, there's less, there's less of the ridiculousness. A little bit, you've got to have a bit, right. but not, not absurd. Injury, 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 injury. Oh, I'm fine. I can still yeah, run a jump. Like, yeah. There's one or two. As I yeah. Said. Suddenly, wolf. You know that kind of thing. Oh, right. the wolves. Okay, fair yeah, enough. The predators. Don't get me started on those. They're amazing. <laughs> like the whole thing's amazing. <laughs> but not your number two or your number one. No. So I'm curious now. What is in at number two? Oh God. Oh, now I have to choose. Now I have to choose between. Well, I I think we know what number one's going to be. Just. Like you, I think you can probably guess now, don't you? Because it's not been Tomb Raider. I think number two mm-hmm. is going to have to be Tales from the Borderlands by Telltale. Okay. Now, I was debating Game of Thrones instead, but mm-hmm. whilst I do like Game of Thrones and it's boding for season two and I'm really pleased with my ending, although quite a few people aren't, um, 
And, you know, I accept the fact it's Game of Thrones. There's going to be horrific outcomes, whatever. Yeah. Tales from the Borderlands was the one that surprised me the most out of the Telltale stuff this year. Mm -hmm. Because I went into Tales from the Borderlands going, I don't mind Borderlands. It's a bit samey after a while. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, I think the most recent one has come under fire, like, criticised for it being very samey and not redefining the game or anything. Um, But Tales from the Borderlands... By the end, very invested. There's some amazing fights that are like Pacific Rim-esque. Um, well, okay. Yeah, yeah. The characters are really good. There's some adorable robots in it. And I just really liked how it ended up as well. Like it, it's, yeah. it's a nice little tale. It's a nice adventure. Um, and if anything, I think that's probably made me, because it's, it's, I think it's canon for Borderlands 3. Yeah, which is interesting because a lot of things go down in it that people who've watched, people who are listening who've watched it will know there's certain people in the canon that we lose. There's certain new people that may affect the canon. And so I'm sort of interested in Borderlands 3 now, whereas before I didn't really give a damn and I haven't given a damn since 2. Uh, just because I've sort of gone, well, I, I like it, I like the game, but the storyline isn't really grabbing me too much. This may have saved that. And I really hope they do another one. So okay. that is number two. Wow, that's I just I remember when we were out at E3 and like you borrowed my microphone because you were like, I'm just going to record the whole thing. Yeah. Like which episode was it that came out then? I th- it hadn't even. It was a preview of number one. Like it hadn't oh, even right. come out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you were just like, I'm just gonna. And I saw you then. And I was like, we kind of split up because I gave you my microphone and you went away and I had dinner and yeah. was doing some editing. And then we met up in the morning and you were like. Yeah, I played the whole thing all night, and I was like, "Really?" Oh no, no, no! I was, no, like, no, I was sorry, sure no, no, you were no, just going to sleep three. or something like that. That was episode three. I, I was yeah. thinking of last year at E3, like is it last year? Oh, no, 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 year no, no. When I, mean I was one. like, I'm, I need to go and I need to go and just do a quick thing to camera about this game. Yeah. Uh, but no, I think it was three that came out, and I did end up re-recording it because my laptop wasn't great. But um, I did stay up until like three a.m. just playing it, going like, I, I, I kind of want to know what's going on. And that wasn't even the best. I thought one. you were insane. Like, five, like yeah. the last one, rounds everything <laughs> off. It's amazing, and there's just ridiculous stuff that goes on in it that Telltale have done very well with the Borderlands universe. But each mm. each element has sort of kept itself as well. It doesn't feel like Telltale have lost its way, and Borderlands haven't lost their yeah. way either. Um, so I think that works. A lot better than certain other recently released Telltale games, for example. <laughs> about, I don't know, Minecraft. <laughs> the story mode that nobody wanted or that needed. comes out and it's an hour an episode, but it's the same price as the rest. <laughs> and the animation is blocky and shit. And the characters are all poorly written. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. I know. But then, it was also Tales of the Borderland made you cry as well, and I think it, it takes quite, quite a lot to make Hannah Rutherford cry. It does. I know. It takes that's, the last. That is like I'm trying to think what made. So we've had Walking Dead has made me cry. So like Telltale currently win if it was a, if it was a developer and publisher because they made me cry about four times. There's a uh, yeah one bit in season one. There's one bit in season two. Uh, twice in Tales of the Borderlands episode five. Uh, 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 Beyond Two Souls. I lost my shit in Beyond Two Souls. Yes, I um, know. Yeah, I know the bit, moment. Yeah, the bit with the 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 yeah the, the, yeah the gone. Yeah, and I, I know exactly like, the bit. Yeah, um, yeah. So I think currently those are the ones. Like Telltale are currently winning on that. They should totally put that on the box for Tales of the Borderlands. Made, Made Hannah cry. Your cat Hannah cry. <laughs> it doesn't happen often. It really doesn't. Oh my god. Um, okay. Yeah. So that's yeah. that's number two. That's number two. Okay. So number one is. Da, 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 da. It's gonna be really disappointing, Kim, because everyone's probably saying it's it's Fallout Four. <laughs> Oh my I'm so god, sorry. what a Everyone's surprise! Everyone's saying it to me for Advent as well. What a surprise! Oh. And that's why I said something different. I know. Because I was like, I'm going to be different this year. Well, <laughs> if it's not that, it's bloody so, Overwatch. So come on then. Um, which isn't even yeah. out. So it doesn't count. Um, I, think, I think that's the other game that everyone's saying as well. So come on, come at me. Why is it Fallout 4? <laughs> I, I just love it. Like, you could just, it's such a giant world. I loved the last two. Um, it. It basically is why I don't like Borderlands as well. It's sort of, that's okay. a more appealing version for me of an apocalyptic wasteland. Also, Mad Max is quite good, but that's not on the top five <laughs> because fucking hell. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I, don't, I just don't know what it is. I just love it so much. The quests are, are fun. Obviously, I'm not 
very, very far through. But for me, it's a really nice game as a YouTuber, at least, to have. Because it's such a big game, I can do stuff on camera and I can also go three hours this evening. I'm just going to sit and do bugger all and play Fallout without going, I'm missing something, I'm missing something. And for me, that's quite appealing. Uh, the sheer variety that you could do. I could take or leave the settlements, to be honest. Um, but I do yeah, like... I think everyone I've spoken to says yeah. the same. Apart from, like, Trot, who did a really... I don't know if you saw, saw it on Twitter, his, like, warehouse of power armour. Oh, no, I like, missed that. Like, he's try hard. Try hard, built it, and then gone, look, everyone, I made this. It's like, yeah, well done. Oh my you God. no lifer. Um... <laughs> You could have been out doing other stuff, but I just yeah I like the I like the ability to mod stuff, um, not even counting actual player made mods, just the gun mods in game mm. and all that stuff. Um, yeah, it just it just has such a good base for doing all of that. Also, I'll be honest, the E three presentation kind of kind of sold me. Yeah, I know yeah. you weren't overly excited, but I no, was just it wasn't sitting there. It was just because. <gasps> I think it was because I was dead by yeah, that you were point. Dead. Like because I was I was I was like because I was still suffering from the flu. Like we'd been queuing in the bright LA sunshine for like an hour with no cover and I was still feeling fluey. I was yeah. tired, I was exhausted. And by the time we got in and we had to do so many security scans to yeah. get into the place. And we had like, water like, and just, all this stuff and <laughs> Yeah. Oh. I was like I just want to get in and sit down. So when the kind of presentation started, I, inside I was like, you know, flipping out as much as you were, but yeah. outside I was just like uh, <laughs> why? <laughs> yeah. But I I, why? Yeah, I think that's probably it I don't I oh god now it's so hard here's a question for you so you know how like straight after the presentation the E3 presentation we yeah. went and we pre-ordered our Pip-Boy editions yeah have you used your Pip-Boy to play <laughs> no, the game no because it doesn't fit my <laughs> iPhone 6 plus <laughs> I haven't done it either but I've got I it I knew this would happen I've got it I know I knew this would happen that we we'd try hard you know to buy those bloody things we got them and I knew we would just sit there with these giant pieces of plastic in our rooms and not even touch them yep. <laughs> like, yeah it could go in the swag the swag oh area God. that I never yeah. use I, but I have got um, it's, I've got the bobblehead but I may have bought another bobblehead on eBay so I, I might oh, really? yeah okay. it's dangerous I've got the lock picking one now so it's all going a bit uh oh collectors uh oh <laughs> yeah, I know. Which one did you get? Like originally from the from the Fallout I got, edition. I think I got which one did you get? Perception one, but everyone seems to be getting the same one. It's just the box is different. Oh, I got charisma. So everyone's getting the thumbs up one. Did you get? It's thumbs up though, isn't it? Oh yeah, charisma. Yeah. yeah. It's literally yeah. the box outside says something different, but all the internal statues are the same. And then the oh, different ones are a separate series that you can buy. I know, just, I know of this. Of course. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, yeah, so... Um, <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. I've not even me. used the actual app on my phone, whether it fits or not. I just can't be bothered. Yeah, no, I I haven't done that either. It, it works. Like, you know, here's a really nice idea for new gaming, but... Yeah, like, it, I yeah, mean, it I've works really well. I've seen all. people use it, and it's really, like, much like Fallout Shelter, it's very well done, yeah. it's very smooth, but... Of course, for, yeah. For a YouTube Let's Play, kind of doesn't work. And <laughs> when I'm at home doing nothing, the last thing I want to do is take my hands off the mouth and keyboard Strap yourself in. to find yeah. the thing. And they go, right, let's fiddle about with this. <laughs> Especially because it doesn't fit my phone, so I have to sellotape it in. Oh, my God. So tell you what, I'm playing it on PlayStation 4, and the one thing I do like is that when you fiddle around with your Pip-Boy in the game, it changes the colour of your PlayStation 4 light. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Nice. How do you like that? So when you turn the light on, like the whole thing goes green, when you get into your power armor, it turns yellow. Cool. Oh, it's, it's lush. That is quite cool. <laughs> so I could have just uh, had that and not bothered spending like 80 quid on this oh, hunk geez. of plastic that's now just sat on my living room table. <laughs> I, I could at least put mine We're on mad. a bookshelf. Mine is at least in a display cabinet oh, in the background of my, my videos, Kim. Jeez. Like, I've at least well, made mine, an effort. Mine's just there. Mine's there just in case like I actually fancy putting it on my arm. But like... <laughs> oh, like, God. Just like, you know, just in case I actually feel like strapping myself. <laughs> what the hell am I doing with my life? Oh my god. Just, but you yes. know what's going to happen though? You're going to, like, the one time you use it, someone's going to come to the door, you're going to forget it's on, and yeah. go to the door and be like, yeah. hello, I'm a massive nerd. Uh, hi, with neighbor. My pit boy <laughs> on my arm. <laughs> yeah, they're probably going to think it's like some weird sex thing as well. Like, why it's have you got a manacle on thing. your arm? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what is life? <laughs> <laughs> oh.
Oh no. So, um, are there any like tiny stories from Fallout that you've experienced so far? Because that's that that is why it's my favorite game mm. because of the tiny stories, yes. like just the little things that you find. So, is there anything you found recently that you really love? I found like two skeletons throttling each other on top of a safe. <laughs> okay. So there's weird things like that, which are always like, why? Um, I'm trying to think of the little stories that aren't spoilers. This is the problem. Mm. Have you been to Hotel Rexford? Um, oh, no, I haven't. You should. Yeah? There's okay. A, there's a person there. In fact, there's a quest you can pick up there, and there's a person there. The quest is apparently one of the best in the game, mm -hmm. and the person oh, okay. is cool. Uh, I, I'm not going to say <laughs> any specifics past that, because you might guess who it is. Um, I think for me, I just found I found a house by a canal, right? And it was a really nice house, like really kind of you could tell whoever was there re really really kind it. of okay. looked after it and loved it and stuff like that. But when you approach, you get ambushed by the blood bugs and like oh. just hundreds of blood bugs, and you're like ah. It's there. And then when you go inside, you find certain things that kind of lead you to another place. And I'm not going to say too much. But it's basically, you just find that there was a really nice, sweet little family that lived there, mm. and then something happened to them, and now the whole place is crawling with blood bugs. And uh. so if you do a little exploration, like it takes about 10, 15 minutes to kind of, you know, find, put the pieces together. But I was just like, oh my God, like, and now I'm heartbroken. Now I keep finding myself going back to this house, just, just checking in on it and just like kind of having a little moment and just like, oh. you know. I um, I did find a radio signal actually for a fa like a lost family. So it's the dad, I think it's the dad calling the rest of them. I haven't followed it down. Oh wow. But I kind of want to follow oh, that. Oh man. Um, yeah. But I wonder if that's the same, it might be the same place. Um, it might not uh, be. No. It's, there's a big enough bloody place. Okay. No. There's a big enough place <laughs> that it there could be anything. Um, I found uh, there's a vault number 81, I want to say. One. One? Yeah, I think so, yeah. They're, they're all right, but I think they're up to something. They're probably not, but I, okay. I don't trust them. They were they were assholes when I went up to their like base. It was like, we don't like outsiders. And I'm like, I'm wearing a vault suit. I'm one of yours. You might have got that anywhere. <laughs> no, I genuinely have kept this. Um, so there's a few bits like that. Uh, oh shit, what else is there? I'm sure there's a load of others. The synth stuff is great. Like, if you talk to certain people, they're mm. just like, you're all synths, I hate you all. Oh, and Ma uh, Mama Murphy, I am, um, I think most of the viewers would like to drug her heavily, um, but I feel really bad. But I think it's gonna be an inevitable, we're just gonna drug the shit out of her until she ends up. Yeah. <laughs> no more. Hallucinating. No more, Mother Murphy. <laughs> you crazy, crazy thing. No more, Mama. Okay, so, well, just to recap. So your five games of this year. In number five is The Room 3. Yeah. And number four is Hearthstone. Yeah. Number three is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Yeah. Number two is Tales of the Borderlands. Yeah. And number one is Fallout 4. So that's a yeah. pretty pretty hefty weighty list there i know but it's been a pretty hefty weighty year i know right i think i've never i've never seen you look so manic and desperate <laughs> in the office than you have been in like the last couple of months when everything so hit. Talk to Ray. Like, it's not stopped yet kim poor Hannah. i'm off to london no tomorrow i know it's not for a magical I event i know um <laughs> but yeah it never ends I, it, well it never hopefully ends. it will end in <laughs> January a little bit. Well, thank you from taking out a time out from your very hectic so schedule to join us. That's all right. Um, thank you for so inviting yeah. me. Uh, and no worries. And for the rest of you, uh, let me know what your top five games of 2015 are in the comments below, as ever. And have a lovely evening. Farewell. Bye.